Hi everyone, this is Carson and Peter McPhail with Lifestyle Properties of Maine. Today we are at Three Mile Pond showing you a two bedroom, one and a half bathroom lakefront home. Yeah, it's a beautiful location. The lot, you know, we've got almost lawn right down to the edge of the water, so it's yep. easy to get in and out of the water. You've got a nice fire pit here to enjoy the, uh, the beautiful views of the lake, good yep. swimming area. But yeah, absolutely, absolutely beautiful spot. And it's really good fishing as well. You have multiple species here and just to list a few, you have your brown and your brook trout, your white and your yellow perch, and there's also some pickerel, just to name a few. And the size of the lake, you've probably got close to a, a thousand acres of water here to recreate on. And then the, the depth, what's the, what's the maximum depth here? So it is just over a thousand acres. It's around 1100 acres. Um, and your max depth is, you're looking at 37 feet. About 37 feet. Yeah, 37 yeah. feet. So deep. nice, nice boatable uh, body of water. Yeah. Let's take a walk around. Uh, why don't we walk around the lot a little bit and then we'll, uh, we'll head inside. So right here is a good spot to enjoy, once again, to enjoy the lake and enjoy a beverage while you're here. And right over here is one of the property pins. So it is nice to know and to be able to get eyes on some of these pins. Now that I've shown you where this pin is, let's walk over and look at where the other pin is. Yeah, it's just a very gentle sloping lot here, Carson. Very nice. No, it is, and, it, and it's fairly well landscaped too and laid out nice. So you got a picnic area here, your fire pit here right by the water, and it's separated by some, you know, man-made bigger rock wall when they were landscaping, you know, when they were moving the rocks to yeah. put the camp in. And then here is our other pin. Now that we've seen both survey pins, let's walk up and take a look at the house. While we're here heading towards the house, I just wanted to let everyone know that there is a right of way um, so that the one neighbor, there's only one neighbor, so it's not like it's a right of way for a whole neighborhood, but there is just a right of way here for the neighbor to come across to get to their property. So before we head inside, just a couple of things I wanted to show you on the outside. So we have this nice one car garage here that's going to be great for your boat, your canoe, your kayak storage, whichever one you prefer the most or multiple if you like multiple. So. You know, great storage space, great basement access as well. Now that we've seen this basement storage, let me show you some that would make a nice addition here. There's a few things, actually. So right here, you have a great spot already set up to put a deck. You got the side access door with the running board on the side. That way, you know, you have almost a wraparound deck. And then we'll show you something that would make a good addition on the back side of the house. So the other thing I wanted to show you guys that would make a good addition is on the, here on the back side of the house, we have a start to a nice deck here, but there's also a retaining wall, a nice retaining wall here on the back that kind of breaks up the property. And what the current owners had planned on doing if they were gonna stay here was they were actually gonna make this space a patio. And when I first came here, that's what I already thought before even talking to them, that this would be an excellent place to put a patio. It would look really nice. Let's go inside and take a look. Now, as we come through the house, we have a nice slate entryway and a wood stove here is one of your heat sources. Definitely keeps the place pretty warm. Now let's step off into the kitchen. So here we are, we have an eat-in kitchen here. You'll see the door that I was talking about on the outside that leads off to that area with the ledger board so you can put on the deck so you have access here. And right over here is where you would set up your dining table and you have a beautiful view of Three Mile Pond right out your window while you eat. So really nice space. So now that we've seen the eat-in kitchen, let's take a look at some of the bedrooms. So over here, right off from the main entryway, we do have our first bedroom here. And it's not a bad size space, it's a good size space and you have a closet here as well. Now if we head back out, we will head towards the master bed and the bathroom right here before it. The bathroom has ceramic tile flooring, and you also have a window in here with a view of the lake. From the bathroom, we're now gonna head to the downstairs master bedroom. And same thing, you have great closet space here, and you have, once again, a beautiful view of Free Mop Pond. Parts of this house does need a little bit of finish work, but it really gives you a chance to kind of make it your own somewhat without having to go through the whole you know, process of starting from the ground up. 
Now, now that we've looked at the downstairs floor, let's take a look at the loft. So now that we're up here in the loft, this is a nice 14 by 25 um, foot space. And now they do have this closed off and insulated during the winter time. This property is fully winterized. So that is nice, especially now that we're here at the cold months. But this is once again, it is a very nice space. You got plenty of room up here for extra beds, storage, game room, whatever you'd like. And there is, once again, you have a gorgeous view of Free Mile Pond. So just to go over what's in the area for you and your proximity to things here, you're just around 20 minutes away from both Augusta and Waterville. You're about an hour and 30 minutes away from Portland, an hour away from Freeport. Bangor, once again, you're around an hour away. Um, Boston is just around three. So you're in pretty close proximity to a lot of things around here. Yeah, we have Colby College is right yep. nearby. And Waterville and Thomas as well. In Waterville, Thomas, right? you got yeah. two very good colleges nearby. And so really central Maine, it's easy to get to here. You could fly into Boston, fly into Portland, fly into Bangor, whatever you wish. Yep. So great, loca great location, beautiful, beautiful property here on the, on the water. Yep. Beautiful spot. It is. This has been Peter and Carson McPhail with Lifestyle Properties of Maine. Thanks for joining us today. And we look forward to seeing you guys again real soon.